resolution requesting Sadu's resignation, every member of the Anaheim City Council had called on the mayor to leave office. Three girls, all students at Taft Elementary School in Santa Ana, were hurt when a car hit them on the sidewalk outside the school. But the story is a lot more complicated than that. When we say the driver, a 26-year-old man from Valencia, had been told to leave the Capitol just minutes earlier. Police say the man stabbed himself with that knife. Students and staff at Taft were evacuated at the school's athletic fields while a bomb squad searched the school. No devices were found, and police say they don't think the school was ever a target. New information on what sheriff's detectives are calling a hate incident that happened over the weekend. They say they can't make an arrest unless there is a clear victim. Investigators tracked down the U-Haul truck that had anti-gay and anti-Semitic words on it. They say calls came in from Beverly Hills to West Hollywood. Here's Sergeant Joanna Warren with LA County Sheriff's Department. There was multiple people that were coming out of the vehicles that were yelling hate speech towards pedestrians or drivers or, or customers in the area. Investigators don't know if the car is following the truck were an organized part of the alleged hate incident or if they joined after were yelling words towards um you know your sexual orientation your religion your race it was just in general towards everybody they say the u-haul was not stolen it was returned and it was wrapped with vinyl or plastic so it's not considered vandalism the sheriff's department says they'll make an arrest if the suspects commit a violation natalie today in knx news 97 1 Jury selection has begun in Bill Cosby's civil sexual battery trial. Several people were excused off the bat for hardships, while others were let go for different reasons, including one woman who said she knew she could not be fair. The case against Cosby involves allegations dating back to the 1970s. Judy Huff has accused him of molesting her at the Playboy Mansion when she was a teenager. Initially, Huff believed she was 15 at the time of the alleged assault, but more recently has said in court papers that she now believes she was 16 years old. Cosby has denied the allegations. Huff's civil case had been put on hold while Cosby's criminal case in Pennsylvania ran its course. Last year, the Pennsylvania Supreme Court overturned his sexual assault conviction and Cosby was released from prison. Opening statements in this civil trial are expected to begin next week. In Santa Monica, Margaret Carrero, KNX News, 97.1 FM. A class action lawsuit is being filed against McDonald's, Wendy's, and some other fast food restaurants alleging false advertising. Have you noticed that what you see on TV when it comes to fast food is often not nearly what it is when you actually order it. Well, someone did notice and decided it was time to take some legal action. Francis Perdue is a food marketing and branding expert. You do your best to show your product in the best light. And I think people get caught up in the nostalgia of what's popular, whether it's hip hop music behind the burger dancing, and people focus on that versus the reality of the situation. In the lawsuit, McDonald's and Wendy's are both accused of not using fully cooked beef patties in their commercials, which makes them appear about 25% larger than when they're fully cooked. Chris Seedens, KNX News, 97.1 FM. You may have seen his picture on billboards. Rami Varma, a long-shot candidate for L.A. mayor, is dropping out of the race. Varma ended the race with a splash last fall, renting out Bank of California Stadium for an event where he promises to end homelessness. But his campaign never gained traction, and now he's throwing his support behind Rick Caruso. Voluntary water restrictions in California could soon become mandatory because apparently a lot of water wasters remain out there. We'll find about that coming up in four minutes. Right now, 735. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the fives, and it is the main spot, though. In Buena Park on the five, northbound, uh, south of Artesia, we've got some debris reported out in the left lane. We also have road work about to happen. Overnight road work starting up on the five northbound. Uh, that is right at Oso Parkway. Uh, that'll be happening until about 5 o'clock in the morning. On the 10 in West L.A., eastbound side a little bit before National Boulevard, we've got uh, two vehicles in a crash out in the left lane. In Monrovia, on the 210 westbound, just past Myrtle Avenue, uh, looks like we've got uh, that motorcycle uh, still there, and that is in the center divider, and it was a hazard to the carpool lane as well. And Commerce on the 5 southbound, just north of Washington, uh, we've got a big rig and a car in a wreck, so CHP is on the way to that one. Uh, that'll cause some slowing on that southbound side 
as you make your way through the Washington exit. If you spot traffic trouble, give us a call. The KNX traffic tip line. Our number is 323-467-1070. Next report, 745 with more reports more often from the Toyota of Glendora.com traffic center. KNX News, 97.1 FM. Tuesdays tonight, tomorrow, 70s and 80s with the early gray and late sun. Right now, you've got 64 in Simi Valley. Baldwin Park at 70, Santa Ana with 62 at 736. Well, it's like watching my grandson feel second mean a lot to me. But after being diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer, or MBC, which is breast cancer that is spread to other parts of the body, they mean even more. I take Ibrand, Couple Cycle. Ibrand 125 milligram tablets with an aromatase inhibitor. It's for postmenopausal women or for men with HR positive HER2 negative NBC as the first hormonal based therapy. Ask your doctor about Ibram and visit Ibrams.com. Ibrams may cause low white blood cell counts that may lead to serious infections. Ibrams may cause severe inflammation of the lungs. Both of these can lead to death. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking Ibrams, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are or plan to become pregnant or are breastfeeding. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, tiredness, nausea, poor mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, 